Okay, it's time for the final trial. We can see a meteor shower happening in the background. Ooh. It's the final trial. All right. So, this is gonna take a little bit of prep work. So we may take this day to clear a path over to the actual boss arena, and then we'll do the fight in itself tomorrow in game. Because I would really like to have an entire in game day set just in order to be able to do the fight. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember a whole lot from this. So I'm just gonna kind of be flying by the seat of my pants. Let's get, I don't know, I think I need like 10 reds maybe. I don't remember this whole setup, brouhaha. I know we're definitely gonna need more blues in order to get that other bridge. That's a bit precarious there. There? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh no, wait, are they gonna be stuck there? Uh oh. Might be stuck there until we get the other side of this bridge down. Let's get out 20 more blues. And then we'll get them on the other side of that bridge. We're gonna need to get some yellows for that wall. I believe the bombs are over on this right side here. It's okay, this isn't the most tedious setup in the world. There we go. Okay, they're getting started on that. These guys are almost done. I mean, that doesn't look too sturdy of a wall. We probably shouldn't need more than like 10 yellows, I think, right? Watch, now we're gonna need like 11 bombs. Also nice that they include candy pop buds of each color, just in case. Ooh. If Pikmin carrying bomb rocks end up in the water, they drop their bomb rocks, they don't explode. It's like you just lose the bomb, if I recall correctly. This is gonna be kind of precarious. Oh my god! Why would you do that? What the hell's the matter with you? I don't even know which one of you that was. Okay, we gotta remember to go touch the bomb rock, Pikmin. Not call. Carefully. So carefully. Oh. I hate all of this. Okay, both sides of the bridge are done. All right, here we go. Let's get this wall down. Well, that was easy. And, yep, we have one more bramble wall to get down. You know what, let's just use our bombs. Easy, simple. Nope, blue guy, trust me, you don't want to be there. All right. Should be okay if we just hug the side. Uh, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, everything is fine. Let's just get this wall down. Just stay out of the center, we'll be fine. Okay, so we've done all the prep we can possibly do. Like I said, realistically, we probably have plenty of time to do the fight, but we're already about halfway through the day, and just for my peace of mind, I would like to have a whole day dedicated to the fight. 16 days since impact. When I see the Pikmin engaged in fierce battle with the other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy wondering why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? Strange, disturbing thought. Whole lot of nothing today. Like I said, it was some essential prep work. It is time, actually, for the final trial. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm pretty sure I've only actually done this once myself. And I may end up doing this in a way that some people aren't particularly happy with. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get across the bridge, okie dokie. Yeah, they're probably fine, maybe. Ooh! Really? Right at the final second, you drop the ball. You can't even manage to walk across a bridge. So let's get into our little safety corner here. We got a whole lot of bombs. Let's go meet our final boss. 
Hello, sir! This is Emperor Bulblax. There, have yourself a snack, sir. Did he throw it? I think he threw it. I think he actually threw it properly. Go yellow guy. <gasps> wow. Okay. Now let's see if we can maybe do that again. Yellow dude? Yellow dude. We have to throw the Pikmin at his face. They'll bounce off his back. Okay. It's just so frustrating having to constantly dismiss the Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, sacrifices must be made. Okay. We're not doing super, super horrible. Could be worse. Eventually, he's gonna start changing up his attacks. Which is gonna be super no fun time. Through that guy. There's one red still going after him. What a brave soldier. Squish soldier, but you know. Okay, hopefully this time we can get him down to half health. Yes, yes. Uh oh, that guy's dead. Woo! Oh. That guy's still on his foot. Not anymore. He was hanging on for a bit. Just doing a little bit of damage. Oh, he got the non bombed one. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, run! Woo! Okay, is he done doing his jumpy thing? Are you done? Nope, he is not. go. His health is in the red. Whew. Oh dear. Okay. We'll let him do his jumpy thing. Oh, no. He's not doing his jumpy thing. Oh, now he's doing his jumpy thing. He gets a wide eye. That means he's about to hop like a freaking rabbit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he got one. Crap. Okay, what are you doing? You doing your jumpy? You doing your jumpies? Come on, do your jumpies. Yep, come on. Do your little hippity hops. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, still not done. Oh, we go again. How about now? Okay, come on. Go, please, please, get him! Come on! Get 
him, get him, get him. I'm not gonna stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes! We fucking did it! At long last, I found the final part, my secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hakate. I don't want to hear no grief about how I went about that boss fight. I know there are better ways to do it, but that can be done by better players. I'm not one of them. Just, 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 I don't need no sass. I fucking did it. It could have been a lot worse than it ended up being. I still won. Everybody get on the thing. Get on the thing. Yeah, this was the final part. We don't get the best ending without Olimar's freaking piggy bank. Makes perfect sense. Here we go. We fucking did it! Pikmin done in one day. I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Planet Hogate! <laughs> Hell yeah! This is literally the second time that I have ever beat this game. I've only done it twice. <laughs> like I said, Pikmin 2 is my favorite. What can I say? planet followed by what's this many different colored onions there's pink and there's black and there's cyan and there's green and there's orange and colors we don't ever see I guess technically there's pink Pikmin there but they're called flying Pikmin Taking one last look back as we go. Yay! Oh my god, we freaking did it. All right. Final analysis. We completed the game in 17 days. 396 surviving Pikmin. Total Pikmin lost. 217. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do a no death run for this game, but we could do it for the second game. Ship parts, all of them. Mm hmm. You can see the ones in blue. I believe those are the non-essentials. Uh, the Nova Blaster, which we got in the Forest of Hope. Space Float, which we got from the Bread Bug in the Forest Naval. And Massage Machine and UV Lamp, which we got from the Distant Spring. And of course, the Secret Safe. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. We freaking did it. 
then now we get a rundown of all the enemies. Armored Cannon Beetle. This migrant lithopod has developed a stronger carapace than its relatives, complete with Olimar's notes. Oh! The beady long legs. Waxy secretions form this creature's distinctive armored shell. Lost a lot of yellows to that dude. <gasps> the bread bug. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. You can throw Pikmin on top of it and do a little bit of damage. It's just not all that much. It's more efficient to do it the way we did. Burrowing Snagret. The bluish hue of its feathers distinguishes it from the burrowing snarrow. Oh, hey, there were no bulbors in the distant spring. Candy Pop Bud. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution? Like the Pikmin themselves, it has many mysteries. Yeah, a lot of in this sequence. Oh yeah, we never saw the dwarf bull bears. We never got to that. And there's a Mamuda in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies not where we saw them. The a bull bear at an early stage of its development and its life cycle, this specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. Yeah, I think this might have this footage might have been taken in like a demo or something. Dwarf Bulborb. Although similar in appearance to Bulborbs, these creatures these belong to a totally different species. Oh, the big guy. Emperor Bulblax. This massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. Yeah, I think all this footage was taken during like a different version of the game before it was completed, which is kind of interesting seeing the enemies in different environments. Fiery Blowhawk, this creature is, expels combustible phosphor that ignites at moderate temperatures. I find that interesting. They never had to explain that, but they still did. <gasps> the Snitch Bug. And we never saw it at the Forest of Hope. Swooping Snitch Bug, this rare species uses its antennae as wings. The Gulix, we never saw the Gulix. That was the other uh, enemy that could have appeared. Um where the Mamuda was. A watery gelatinous membrane protects this creature's nervous, si nervous system. Yeah, in the um, the impact site, Honey Wisp, this creature collects nectar for the larva waiting its nest. You encounter either the Mamuda or the Gulix on alternating days. And it just so happened when we went back there, we found the Mamuda. Your doesn't flint beetle. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. There's a boy! Ouch, Mamuda. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for their decorative properties. Yeah, some of these enemies, I wish they made appearances in other games, like the Gulix, the Pearly Clamp Clamp, especially. Pearly Clamp Clamp. Although beautiful, this mollusk's pearls are thin and fragile. Oh, we destroyed a billion of these. Pellet Posy. This sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. Oh, and this guy too. I wish he made an appearance in other games. Puff stool. That's what it's called. Many consider this walking fungus a delicacy. Ew. Not a fan of mushrooms myself. Puffy Blowhog. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses its hydrogen to float. What a pest. Sheer grub. Males of this species are purple and have an armored head. I'm okay. Sheer wig. The males of this species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. <gasps> oh god. <sighs> The Smoky Prog, thought to be a malformed larval Mamuda. Eesh. The Bull Bear, Spotty Bull Bear specifically. This rare subspecies of Bulborb has a certain indefatigability. Big words. And the Goomba of the series. Body Bulborb, this nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals returning to their nests at night. Bulborbs are so cool. They're so cute, too. You are not Water Dumble. 
This aquatic creature is a close relative of the Bulborb. Wog Pole. This creature appears to be a newborn yellow Wallywog in tadpole form. Kill them all, murder them, destroy the bloodline. They must be extinguished. Speaking of, Wallywog! This creature's coloration results from remaining sheltered in its cavernous dwelling. So that's why some were white and some were yellow. Yellow Wallywog. After evolution led to the development of its specialized jumping ability, this amphibian actually lost, lost much of its ability to swim. Hmm. The happy end. Or happy the end. Yeah. We did it! Hell yeah! Nice.